Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and today we're making a short review of the newly added Clipchamp video editor application in the latest Windows 11 preview build update. Well, many of you probably already know Clipchamp, which is quite a famous app and pretty good at making video editing super easy. So basically, when you first launch the app, it's required for you to sign in. So you need an account, preferably your Microsoft account to log in in order to use the app. So, it's not as free as you think. Already sharing some of your data to Clipchamp in order to get the basic functions of this application. What's nice is that before you get into the actual app, you'll be asked what kind of person are you from a creative point of view. Someone that wants to make educational stuff or just make videos for fun, for example. So, let's just choose an option. Then you'll be asked what kind of content creator are you and again you'll have to choose the option that fits you best. And then, here we are. This is the main interface. To be honest, it's a bit confusing for a beginner because there's so many elements and so many options and you just want to have a bit of fun, starting with some experimentation or something alike. But it's actually quite easy. These guys just want you to get the best out of the application so you can start directly with their templates or you can simply start with a recording, capturing your webcam or your screen or whatever. Just do it. But what saves you is the create a video button, so let's just press on it. And here we are. This is the main timeline and interface for your new project. In here, things get a little bit easier. As you can see on the left pane, you have all the managing options for your project. You can start loading your media, or you can just jump straight in and record yourself with the webcam or capture the screen, so that's pretty neat and easy. But firstly, let's rename this project. So if you click on this box next to your personal project, you can just type in the name of the project so it's easier for you to recognize it. Honestly, this is not such a good idea because you can get lost in making the video and forgetting to rename it. So it should have been placed right after clicking on the create a new video button so you can already have it renamed. Now, let's just try adding a video. So click on the plus button and as you can see, a new window will appear. In here, you can already drag and drop any videos or photos you like, or you can browse your files. And even more than that, you can connect to various platforms, such as Dropbox, OneDrive, Zoom, and many others. So you can directly take those videos from the cloud and start editing right away. And guess what? You can even get videos from your phone which is really neat. I think this is super cool because we're heading towards a nice integration with all the file sharing platforms and your devices so you don't have to get lost in file searching. Now after searching for some videos, all you have to do is load them into your media bin, so to speak, and from here on you can start playing with the Clipchamp features directly by dragging any video you want in the timeline. So drag a video and in order to get specifics from that video, you have to click on it in the timeline. Then on the top part of the app, a few options will appear. This is where the fun begins. You can have multiple videos running in the same time with the layout mode, or you can transform the video to flip it, rotate it or whatever. In the same time, you can also apply filters right out of the box or play with the colors if you want to. The option to fade in and out is also super simple, but the speed category is lacking a bit. Your options are a bit limited in here to a few values. Now moving on to the audio part, you can choose, of course, to adjust the volume and separate the audio from the video, which is quite a cool trick if you want to play with the audio separately to do something really creative. Other than that, on the right side of this application, there's an option to adjust different picture ratios. This is for different platforms and purposes, which is also super cool, but of course, in the end it depends on the way you film your stuff, whether it's horizontal or vertical. And as you can see, the world is your oyster from here on. You can add music and sound effects directly from the Clipcham library or even stock videos in between your videos with some of the stuff being free and some of the other stuff being locked into a pro version of this application. And here's where the cookie crumbles. Maybe you've already seen it, the big upgrade button. So just click on it to see the reality of the situation. Yes, you can only export 480p in the free version. So no matter if you film in 4K or whatever high resolution, all you get in the free version is 480p. You know what that means? That means this review and presentation was cute until we got to this point. Come on, 480p? You know what that sounds like or looks like? Well, not like an update feature. Doesn't sound like Windows tried to do something cool for their users. It just sounds like another cash cow for us to bait on. Like 
Ooh, Windows 11 now has Clipchamp on it. Next level stuff from Windows Movie Maker, which mind you had 1080p export for free at no other cost. So this is quite heavy. Mm, really heavy, because the balance was tilted in the favor of all these nice features, all these endless possibilities, which got crumbled into a pixelated dimension of the liberty we actually have with this so-called video app feature for Windows. But other than that, I must admit that the application is quite cool and gives you endless possibility. But in the end, if you don't want to pay for the subscription, the export quality will throw in the mud all your creative purposes. So then, what do you say? Should we get back to good old Windows Movie Maker? I think that would be really cool to actually get a true replacement of Movie Maker for no additional costs. I'm not gonna be surprised if in a few years Windows will be completely modular. A system based on microtransactions, which will only allow you to copy-paste 5 files a day on your PC and then upgrade or buy credits to be able to do more. Maybe a bit exaggerated in my mind, but nevertheless a flick of my dystopic imagination. And that's it. A short review of this cool app with a huge downside. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. As usual, for more information and details, you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.